Now the lighthouse that we were at was technically in Lakeside Park and we are still in Lakeside Park and there's a series of little islands here. And so technically we are on Oven Island. I'm not sure where that name comes from, but yeah, there's little creeks that run through this park separated by bridges that make these technically islands. There's a bridge over here, bridge over here. Kind of see the creek over there. And two more bridges down that way. One bridge that way. Pretty crazy. I wanted to see Lake Winnebago more, but it was actually these little islands that really drew me to this sort of downtown lakeside area of Fond du Lac. Such a nice area through here, I'm very impressed. It's really hard for me right now to find a town in Wisconsin or elsewhere that I can really compare this to. It's very unique, that's kinda all I can say about it. Another bridge up ahead, which we will be crossing over. A little bit of a steep bridge here. Interesting. Got a little bit of a climb to this. One pleasant surprise after another. Here we have a bridge that looks like a one lane wooden vehicle bridge. Kind of like Long Grove. How awesome is that? It is just crazy. I'm actually kind of jealous. I wish I lived up here now. I'd be hanging out here every day. It's just amazing here. And it just keeps going.
So yeah, <laughs> among all the bridges and islands and everything, there is, well, a petting zoo. There are some deers in here, kind of hiding from me now. A miniature train set. I think some petting zoo stuff over there. Looks like a merry-go-round, some other kitty rides. Here's the bridge that we just crossed over. I honestly don't even know what to think about this stuff right now. So yeah, there's some deer just chilling out here. A little taste of the Wisconsin Deer Park, I guess. So did you get kicked out of the Wisconsin Dells Deer Park? I'm guessing you don't want to talk about it, huh? I can understand. Two other ones we've already checked up are down there. And we have two more over here. Oh, three more. Looks like some babies, maybe. Looks like Mama hanging out with the kids. You also have a baseball field over there. That's where that bridge leads over to. That's one bridge we crossed over, the steeper one. And there's our, I'll just call it my Long Grove Bridge. <laughs> it's probably in better shape than Long Grove Bridge considering all the vehicles that are running into it, but that's a whole another story that I need to talk more about in another vlog. Classic Wisconsin deer park deer feeders. 25 cents, yeah, this. Looks like it has some age to it. I haven't been to Wisconsin Deer Park in a long time. Who knows, maybe it's all digitalized by now, but uh... So it loops over this way, kind of turns into a double track, and then heads on down this way. That's a decent little train ride. So we have found some goats. Little goats. Alright, let's check out the petting zoo. Bye. Got some bunnies. Enjoying some carrots. Oh, stereotypical. <laughs> What's the fourth one? Is there four? No, I see three. They were chicks, but they're probably a couple weeks old. And some alpalcas. I think that's what they are. <laughs> Not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, I don't know if he's coming this way. 
Interesting haircut. Oh, hi buddy. Looking for someone to feed him, probably. That one's enjoying some hay. And yes, they do indeed have a full scale merry go round. Including Donald Duck. I want that one. <laughs> Donald Duck seems mixed in with the rest of the horses. Not sure what that's about. Looks like there's also a deer over there. But here it goes. Now, merry-go-rounds are cool and everything, but I think I might have just found a piece of my childhood. With all the stuff I've seen today, I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, they have a roto whip, which looks exactly like the one they had at Kittyland, Merrill's Park, Illinois that I went to and rode on so many times before they closed in 2009. I have no idea if this is the one or not. Everything that was there went up for auction and a lot of amusement places bought up stuff. This is interesting. So this one was built in the 1950s, it would kind of fit the age of it. So the young folks <laughs> who were running the ticket booth had no idea if this was related to Kitty Land or not, but man, this is cool though. Just to see this ride again, even if it's not the same. That is just completely awesome. It's definitely a smaller scale compared to Kitty Land, but still, this is really neat to see. Yeah, I'm speechless. <laughs> From the lighthouse, which I said, oh, I wonder how you're gonna top that. Oh, we did top that. <laughs> this is really cool. So we crossed back over the little wooden bridge and there's that steep bridge we are in Fountain Island now and the reason for that of course is over here because they have everything else here why not have a fountain And so we have dual gazebos over here.
kind of a seating area. Maybe they hold concerts or stuff like that over here. I'm not really sure, but kind of a observation area with the little fountain behind it. And one of the most interesting gazebos that I've ever seen is right ahead there. Kind of circus themed, I guess. <laughs> Definitely got to check that out. And there it is, the circus looking gazebo. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, we have been blocked from heading up there. Oh, well. And one more look, for now anyway, from Lake Winnebago here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Now, if you have visited my channel for a while now, you know that I have visited my fair share of lakeside parks, beaches, stuff like that. In Fond du Lac, I have to say you have greatly impressed me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I definitely did. Make sure to subscribe. Check out our other videos that are coming up here in Fond du Lac and wherever else our next adventure takes us. Thank you for watching.